What's good, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. I appreciate the love and the subscribers as I drop this content. I appreciate the women that done uh, subscribe to my channel. Like I said, we should be able to have an adult conversation without nobody getting their feelings. Y'all are entitled to talk shit and have your opinion. I don't feel no way. We adults, man. Grab you some motherfucking Hennessy, some wine, or whatever you drink, and enjoy and enjoy the content. Like I said, if y'all have anything y'all want to discuss or talk about, you know, uh, drop them in the comment. Women are men. And we could discuss it or whatever. Like I said, we adults. And this is the real life, the real world out here, man. Like I said, I ain't on here to bash nobody. I'm just on here to give my opinion. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like it. And uh, share it on different platforms, whatever you want to do. You want to turn into a short, whatever. I appreciate y'all a lot, man. But yeah, man, as y'all can see from the title of the video, men, women think uh, the grass is greener on the other side, right? Women think the grass is greener on the other side. And how do I know that? It's because I, I've been around... I've been around women. I work with women. I have women in my family, and they all done tried it. They think they're going to find uh, rainbows and skittles inside the grass. It ain't shit but uh, some uh, dried up grass with some bullshit in it, right? They're too busy watching social media and scrolling all day. You'll be surprised how much a woman is in her phone all day, scrolling, listening to other shit. Because women like drama, you know, hey, that's just how women are. But women, they love drama. And then particularly they love to talk so they're listening to single women other single women that's bitter they ain't got no men divorce you know hate men all that shit and they run with it so anyways it's women that would try it. and what i mean is they will go out here and test the water and they come and they get disappointed because we in the real world. We are in the real world. And some shit is not going to always work. Men, beauty, their beauty can be very deceiving. Their body and their beauty can be very deceiving. A lot of them got bad demons and spirits inside of them. And sometimes it comes with a fucking headache. You don't know what this girl going to come with. So that's what I always tell y'all. Y'all choose y'all women wisely and literally by conversation, um, you should be able to figure out what she's about somewhat. But yeah, man, they, they lead a man and they'll go out here and go get a guy that might got a little more money and status and the guy will play him and dump him because they try to either get get backs or they're tired of their relationship and they, they don't want to be alone because you got to think women don't not like to be alone. That'll probably be my next video. But they will go and try and the guy might have something better than you. I don't know what it is. It could be money. It could be a bigger dick. Whatever the fuck it is. And they will go try and get let down because this guy got 20 other women on the roster because women, men, sometimes we would... uh. Some men got game. Some men don't need a lot of money to pull with them, like I told y'all that. But women would go and sleep out on a man and fuck up their whole entire relationship. And I'm not saying men don't do it either, women. I'm not saying women, men don't do it. So I know women be watching my videos and shit. Like I said, it's particularly for the men. If y'all got some shit y'all want me to talk about, drop it in the comments. But like I said, a woman, they will fuck their whole relationship up to go test the waters listening to the other people. And reality don't work that way. Beauty don't work with all men. I mean, of course, I love me a woman. Chocolate, red, snow bunny, whatever. But beauty don't work with all men. They just want to hit nine times out of ten. And some women just don't get that. And they'll go out and try it. And get disappointed and then try to run back to what they had. Then they boo hooing and crying because they thought they was playing a game. And that's what I be saying. They cannot be men. Y'all can't do what we do. Y'all got y'all might have an advantage over us, but y'all cannot do what we do, man. Y'all get that shit get washed up. And then once it gets around, everybody 
is going to know what you're doing. If everybody, if you, everybody know you a hoe and you horn around, you present yourself, every guy's going to try. I don't give a fuck if he's ugly, he's fat, he's handsome, he's tall, he's short. He's going to come try this shit. And then they think they, uh, they bubble get popped. Their reality get popped. And then they try to come back and run that game on them. And some men be stupid to fall for the shit. And, you know, I get love is one thing. You love them, you love them. But just know she done disrespected you. So why would you want that back? You know what I'm saying? So they think they can do what men can do. Not saying they can't, you know, do certain things. But they would go test the water and then get get uh, they get disappointed. Because they thought that men that they had to come up on then shit it on. And then they try to come back to the dude that's working at working, working at home or whatever he does. He's doing his normal work routine. And you done put him down saying he's broke. He ain't got no money. When you ain't doing shit either. You ain't got no motion going on, but this man got some motion. So you see another man with better motion. You thought you can pull this man. He done, you know, fucked you and shit and then tossed you to the sand. Then you will run back to the dude that you had. They, they, they do a cycle. You ever seen women that got, they're like one, one man, right? The friends, the sisters, they all, they all being feeling jealous. So they start fuck. They, the man. The men start fucking all of them. They all want to taste. And then what if that man end up liking the, the friend or the whatever, whatever? And then they get mad at each other. Then they end up telling on a man if he's married or got a, something going on. Then it's all messy. And then that whole situation that got squashed. And they back doing it again. Some women just, all they, all they see in their eyes is they got dollar signs. And a lot of women just be trying to get shit out of men. And then they try to use the men that they do have. Like, my man got this. My man got that, right? My man got a business. As soon as this man piss you off and put you in your place, you out. You outside on some hot girl shit doing what you think a man, uh, doing what a man, doing what you think a, uh, a man can do. And then when it don't work out for you, you coming right back to him. Everybody, women wants a man. Women want to be with a man. That's why they, they would be laid up and they want their cake too. They want to eat. They want their cake and eat it too. And that's why shit is the way it is out here. A lot of them is carrying baggage from the past, like being cheated on, you know, stuff in the pack, you know, for a drug dealer up her shit. They're actually just doing wild shit. And a lot of them is still instilled in them. And that's why you, you got to stay away from toxic women. You got to stay away from them type of women because them women will suck you dry like a mosquito, man. And like I said, man, they hear women, you can tell them shit, but they hear you. But in their mind, you wrong. But the women don't like for men to be right. They want us to be wrong, even if they are right. You feel me? So if they going to have to prove you, some women got high ass egos. I mean, some women egos are bigger than men's, and they feel like they have to prove them wrong, and that's where they end up by themselves because they're too busy being masculine, not listening, not being quiet, not understanding their man. They're too busy listening to the next female. They ain't got no man, and then they run. They 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 uh they that's why they wonder why uh running around with they shit on fire. Should be making no sense to me, man. And then that's why shit is the way it is, man. Because like I said, women think uh, they think shit is sweet out here, man. And it, it comes from other guys validating them and not checking them, not in a disrespectful way, but just putting them in a place, putting them in their place. Like, hey, you need to chill out, bro. Like, look, I know you got a man, but shit, you ain't about to get me caught up. Like, but it is what it is. And they wonder why they by themselves and they sleeping with multiple dudes. Some women love being hoes, you know, more power to you. But the women that don't, you know, y'all need to quit uh, thinking shit sweet out here because it's called karma, bro. Karma a motherfucker. And karma will come and bite you in your ass if you're out here doing some shiesty shit. And I try to tell women that shit and they don't listen. And then they want to, you know, 
talk it. They want to boo-hoo about it. Like, you know, people didn't try to tell you. I told you quit listening to that girl, and you done brought the talk your toxic friend around you, and you done rubbed off on you. Yeah, you getting you getting you getting what you want, but at the end of the day, you, what are you getting out of it? You know what I mean? But yeah, man, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, uh, don't uh, share the video. And like I said, man, keep y'all keep maneuvering out here and keep y'all head up. I'm out.